One of your favorite business clients, Tom, wants to expand his landscaping business by buying new equipment and accessing additional working capital to hire new people. You're Tom's banker, and he knows that you'll take good care of him. Joe is a budding entrepreneur. He has big dreams and big plans. Unfortunately, they're all in his head. He'd like for you to share his vision and provide the loan to make it happen. Two different people, two different stories. Both need help to get where they're going. Welcome, I'm Charles Alexander. And I'm Rob Karpik. And we're with the Tennessee Small Business Development Center. And we'd like to introduce you to our organization to tell you how we work with small business owners all across the state. The TSBDC is a member of the Association of Small Business Development Centers and is affiliated with the Board of Regents institutions located throughout the state of Tennessee. So why do we exist? And how does it affect lenders? Well, the mission of the Tennessee Small Business Development Center is to enhance economic development by working with small business owners or want to be business owners that want to start, sustain, or grow their businesses. Did we mention that our services are always free and always confidential? And when we say free, it's funded by the U.S. Small Business Administration, who dedicates its time, energy, and resources to small businesses all over the country. We're also funded by our university or college where we're located, and even local donors. Now be honest, Rob, when we say free, what do you normally think of? You get what you pay for. That's generally the case when you're talking about some There's other- There's some sort of catch. Thank, thanks, Rob. Good there. Now, to move on about the Tennessee Small Business you Development You can't help me worth a flip. Thank you, sir. All right, we're good. No more. Please know that the Tennessee Small Business Development Center is not a you-get-what-you-pay-for type of services. Our counselors have years of experience working with small business owners all across the state, and we are equipped with cutting-edge resources. The TSBDC works with clients in two specific ways. First, through one-on-one -on -one consultation, and secondly, through workshops. Now let's take a look at how this impacts you, the lender. You ask your favorite business client, Tom, to bring in his financial statements and perhaps an updated business plan. Okay, um, financial statements, business plan, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll be right back. Tom then brings you exactly what you ask him for. I save my receipts. We will be more than happy to work with clients face-to-face -face in our offices or at times visit them at their business. In fact, through the use of video conferencing, we even have the ability to work with our clients remotely. We prepare small business owners to be able to approach a lender for financing, and we even work with small business owners to know when financing may or may not be for them. By the way, we also are very familiar with SBA and USDA lending. While we're discussing finances, you should know that TSBDC has access to a top-of-the-line financial software called ProfitSense. ProfitSense performs a deep financial analysis and takes financial data and quickly converts it into plain language reports, complete with industry comparisons, ratio analysis, trend analysis, and even business valuation analysis. Now, after working with a TSBDC counselor, Tom is much more prepared to talk shop and give you the opportunity to evaluate his financial position. Way to go, Tom. Way to go. And at the TSBDC, our emphasis is small business owners just like Tom that want to grow their business. We even work with the small business owners that have just the regular day-to-day -day obstacles in operating. And we have the knowledge, the experience, and the resources to help them in any economic environment. You ask Joe to write a business plan and bring you financial projections for his new venture, including potential for capital and collateral. Ah, but Joe is a step ahead of you and gives you his plan. So, who else are our clients? Our clients are people who would like to start a new business, just like Joe. For these clients, we suggest that they attend one of our monthly startup workshops. In fact, across the state, the TSBDC presents a multitude of in-person training events that span a variety of business topics. Workshop topics include business planning, government contracting, tax workshops, 
QuickBooks training, SBA lending programs, and many more. Information on all future training events can easily be obtained by visiting www.tsbdc.org. Also, the in-person workshops can now be taken online with interactive guides and video. The TSBDC has launched its online small business survival training and it can be found at www.tsbdctraining.org. Now that Joe has attended a startup workshop and had a counseling session, he's now more prepared to speak with his banker. Good job, Joe. Good job. Now, let's take a look at a couple of other resources that can be used during counseling that you will not find anywhere else. Reference USA is a great database of information that small business owners can use to do research on all other types of businesses. Many of our clients benefit from the information they're able to gather and they test the feasibility of their startup or their expansion. Additionally, marketing lists can be made, downloaded, and used by business owners. Our clients are able to access this database from any TSBDC office. SBDCNet is another resource that Small Business Development Center counselors have at their disposal. This off-site research center manned by Small Business Development Center research specialists help us equip our clients with demographics, competition data, consumer spending habits, and over 20 other specific reports. We've told you what we will do in our counseling sessions, but here's a few things that we will not. Taxes. Makes sense. I'm not a CPA. We won't advise on legal matters. And I'm also not an attorney. Um, yes, that, that is correct. I object. Additionally, we won't make decisions for you. Kind of kills the point of being an entrepreneur. Hey, Chief, you got a few seconds? Good. I got a couple of resumes here. I'm not sure who to narrow this down to. Can you take a look at those and maybe possibly get back with me by the end of the day? I would really appreciate that. And also, I got a couple pieces of equipment. I can't make a decision on it. Would you take a look and maybe tell me which one you would go with? Can you do that for me? End of the day would be great. I, I appreciate it. And we won't spill the beans about your business. What, what do you mean spill the beans? Well, we won't discuss your business or your business plans with anyone outside of our organization. That's, that's fair enough. Let's not go there for lunch. I hear they have a pest problem. That's the same thing I heard. Well, they're clients of mine. I can verify all of it. <laughs> Lastly, let's take a look at the results of the TSBDC services. In 2010, we had over 14,400 people attend our seminars. Clients of the TSBDC network generated $16.2 million in incremental sales. We counseled over 4,400 individual clients. Clients created 1,142 jobs. Uh, hey there, uh, Robbie Boyd. Did, uh, did you happen to forget one that we are talking to lenders here? Oh yeah. Last but certainly not least, the Tennessee Small Business Development Center assisted our clients in obtaining over $29 million in funding. Not too bad. Charles and I would like to thank you for spending this time with us. Please know, TSBDC clients are better prepared to seek financing for their endeavors and are exponentially better prepared to start or expand their existing business. And we hope you come away today with a better understanding of what we do and how we can help you. And we ask you to contact us personally for any additional information. To learn more, visit our website at www.tsbdc.org. What is with spill the beans? I don't know. That's what we say back home. Spill Charles, the beans. I, sometimes I just don't get you. Look, that's why you're in East Tennessee. I'm in the middle. We got West covered. And what's with the tape calculator? That, that people don't a, use those well, anymore. And you know, it has a dramatic effect. You know, we got a lot of loose off. Yeah, and I'm looking for you. Thousand one hundred and forty-two new jobs in the state of Tennessee. 
Uh, hey there, Robbie Boy, did uh, you forget when we are talking to lenders here? Oh.